The results of the DNA test will confirm whether the baby who was brought to the court today is kissed Alinda, the biological son of Solome and Bridges Alinda Mugenyi. The order to have the baby's DNA tested follows that the purported mother was not able to identify the child who was taken from her shortly after birth. Justice Esther Nambayo ordered the test to be carried out at the government analytical laboratory in Kampala to confirm the parentage. The costs of the DNA test will be met by the hospital. And we have also informed the court have no issues to pay the 4.3 million. We are open to paying the same and we are open to enter into any other arrangement in regards to paying the same. As a sign of doing that, today we are going to deposit money before court as a, a, a sign that we are serious, we need to sort out this. What is very vital in all this is the baby or the rights of the child. Meanwhile, the baby has been returned to the custody of Loving Hearts Home until 5th September when they return to court with the test results. However, when tasked to explain how the baby ended up in their custody, the representative of Loving Hearts Home, Gerald Sunday, explained that Roswell Hospital took the baby to the central police station in Kampala and reported a case of abandonment. Last week, the couple sued Roswell Children's and Women's Hospital for refusing to release their baby over an accumulated bill of 4.4 million shillings. No, 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 we do not abandon the child. The hospital detained the baby just... Okay, that's enough. The couple contend that they have gone through an emotional roller coaster since the birth of their child and were denied the opportunity to clear the debt in installments. <laughs>